What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jihad Book back again with another mother video. You know what I'm saying? But you already knew that because you're here. And if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and skip all that today. Let's just go ahead and get right into this YouTube video. Before we do all that, please go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, and share. Comment and share if you care not to get YouTube stuff in that. Now, let's get, hold up. Let me do my, let me do some vocal practice real quick. <clears throat> we build sand castles that washed away. I made you cry when I walked away. Oh, 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 oh. and although I promised that I couldn't stay, baby, every promise, I said every promise, every promise. Don't work out that way. Ooh. Okay, I couldn't hit that high note, but I can do it, just not today. My throat a little dry. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this YouTube video. Let me stop playing because it's hot. Let me crack these windows. Y'all, if my uh if my phone falls, it's cause I'm driving. I'ma try not to drive too crazy. Please don't fall, phone. Come on, come on, come on, phone, don't fall. Okay. Y'all, this is um I guess another rant video. Lately, I've just been getting on here and talking. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been lucky slacking with the YouTube videos. i just been doing random stuff that's on my, my mind, okay? I guess I'm a, a podcaster now. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about something that's on my mind again today. Um, I don't really know how else to say that. Okay, I'm going to try to roll up this window because these cars are loud. Let me just go ahead and turn on my air. I don't have to use the air. I don't like using my air because it weighs gas. And I don't ever be having none, but it's cool. You're gonna have to use it today. I got a little bit of gas today. Oh my God, I'm moving out in the street. But, um, so I don't really know how to say this y'all, but oh, let me hold my phone while I take off. But, um, yeah, I think I have autism. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna flat out say it. So I don't, oh, let me speed up. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so one, I want people to know I'm not trying to be funny with this video. I'm being dead ass serious. I genuinely believe I have autism um, for a couple reasons. Uh, one, if y'all just like knew me, like off of here, like y'all might even know from my YouTube, cause I be, I just, if you just really knew me and really got to see me in a lot of different environments and nuances, you would you would kind of understand the point I'm trying to make. But I genuinely believe I, there's a very high probability I have autism because one, I took, um, I just always kind of felt different than other people. Like I just noticed I always think different than a normal human, if that makes sense. Like my brain functions don't, what you think would be like the normal response to stuff, my brain do not be like <laughs> correlating with what the next person would think. I don't know how to explain it. But also I took two online, uh, you know, a, what's it called? Autism test online. Um, just it's obviously it's not you know a clinical diagnosis but I don't have $1,500 to pay for an official clinical diagnosis but I've taken multiple online autism tests and every single one not some of them every one that I've taken and I mean everyone literally every single one that I've taken I've come back and tested positive for autism um, or I've I've showed traits of autism whatever it however you say it um, but yeah I, I've uh, uh, like the, the most recent one I took I think to 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 like uh, to show autistic traits, you only needed to score a 23. I scored a 33. So that's that's you know that's that's clearly <laughs> that's a substantial substantial uh, amount. Like that's literally 10 points over what you need to qualify, you know, for an autistic. And I could easily see myself being one of those high functioning autistics because I've met a couple of those in high school. Like there was this one dude I knew. I, I, we weren't like best friends, we were acquaintances, I knew of him. But he had autism and I never knew. And I remember at our senior graduation, he literally got up and gave a speech in front of the whole school and everything. And like, he seemed perfectly fine, perfectly confident. Per you would never have known he, you would never have known that he had autism. So, you know what I'm saying? And also I, I've been doing research on this because I, I really was hesitant on making this video because certain things I don't like to speak into exist existence. 
Um, like I just grew up in the type of household where like we don't claim anything in the name of Jesus. You don't want to put that on you. Like y'all know, for the people who grew up with you know religious black parents, y'all that y'all know grandparents. That's just how they be. We don't claim that in the name of Jesus unless you know for sure. That's just how we grew up. But well, like I said, I don't got fifteen hundred dollars to go get tested for you know to go get clinically diagnosed for autism. One day I would like to go get an official diagnosis just so I can have a piece of paper that proves it, so I can rub it in my parents' face. Like, not only did you all abuse your kid, you abused your autistic kid all of his life, and you all should really feel bad now because you know for people who've been following me for a while, y'all know I, I grew up in a very abusive household growing up. My childhood was very abusive. Neither of my parents will admit that to you. They'll tell me. They'll tell you my life was perfect and I had no reason to complain, but that's because they're both narcissistic assholes. But that's a whole different situation for a different day. Anyway, um, but yeah, I can't wait to get like physical proof. Like, cause if, if, that, if, that, if it does come back saying I'm autistic, oh my God, I'm gonna rub it in their face so bad. Like you all abused me, called me all types of names my whole life. And now look at you, you should feel like shit. I remember my mom called me a moron. My mom just called me all types of names when I was in elementary school. Once she called me a moron, She's called me everything in the book. And now, and I remember she would even joke too about me having autism. Like if I would do something she deemed stupid or autistic, like she'd be like, bro, I swear you got autism. You might be like on the spectrum or, on the spectrum or something. You might be one of those like just savant geniuses or whatever. Like talk, trying to trying to act like she's complimenting me but talking shit at the same time. Like it's a backhanded ass compliment. Like, oh, I'm a genius, but I'm autistic. Like shut the fuck up. Like, we're, like I don't know. But she used to say stuff like that all the time. Like my mother has made autism jokes countless, numerous times in my childhood. I can think of three right now off the top of my head that she called me autistic. Oh my God, my phone, I knew it was gonna fall. But the point I'm trying to make is Maybe she had a point. Maybe she was right. I really think she might have actually been right. No, it wasn't right for her, you know, to like come at her, you know, elementary school kid like that, but her child and talk to them like that. But still, nonetheless, she was right. Um, so I'm just like trying to figure out like, like, I mean, what do y'all think? Y'all think I could have, I really think there's like a high probability I could have autism. Like if y'all only knew me, like, oh my God, like me and my grandmother who I live with right now, we have had so many arguments because she refuses to leave stuff alone in my room. I mean, she doesn't now because I, I had like, we went at it so many times. Like it got so bad to where everybody in the house was like, grandma, leave his room alone. How many times does he have to say it? I mean, literally for the first year, like she, and cause my grandma is very prideful. Even when she's wrong, she doesn't like to admit it. She's a Libra and that's, that's what Libras do. Mr. Tackle was a Libra, just FYI. But anyway, she has a lot of pride and even when she knows she's wrong she, oh my god i'm gonna just hold it she likes to prove like i don't care that you want me to touch your stuff i'm in control this is my house I do, she's uh kind of like a narcissistic black mom as well just not as bad as my actual mom but my grandmother has a lot of issues and narcissistic tendencies about her as well but because we have a better relationship i'm able to deal with her more than my mother me and my mother we cannot communicate i can't communicate with either my parents if I'm in a room with either of my parents for more than five minutes, we start arguing. And I'm not just talking like, like, like ready to fight type arguing. Like we're, we're ready to brawl. Like that's why I just don't really have a relationship with my parents because they're not good parents. Like I don't know what else to say. They took care of me financially, but emotionally, spiritually, mentally, you know, all that, all the stuff that a kid really needs, they just failed me. They failed me completely. And I'm not going to say anything else because they failed me. They literally failed me. And if it wasn't for God, I probably would have either turned out, I probably would either be dead in prison or turned out like Jeffrey Dahmer by now because that's how much bullshit they put me through to where I literally should be insane right now. I should be running around the world being an insane person, how much generational curses and shit I've had to break and fight because of my fucking parents. And it's just, it's just a lot. But anyway, back to the autism thing. But yeah, I, I really like, I, I've kind of thought this for a while now, like well over a year, but I just, like I said, I didn't want to say it because I don't want to claim nothing and then it not be true because that's just how I was raised. But I've taken various tests. I always test for autistic traits. People have, multiple people have told me, including my parents on occasion, like they could see me having autism. I've had cousins say it. My mom has said it jokingly, but talking shit. 
my dad, when I told him, he just completely invalidated me. He was like, I don't think it is, and you don't need to put that on you, but whatever, if you really need to feel that way, or if you need proof, then I understand. My dad's just like, he just, I don't even know why the fuck I told him in the first place. He don't, he invalid. He invalidates everything anyway, so I don't know why I did that in the first place. Like that's why I don't really talk to him about anything anyway, because if even if I do, <laughs> he's just gonna shit on it. He's gonna tell me that he's just gonna say something that's just gonna piss me off. Like, like, oh well you need to stop being so sensitive or just he's just that's just he don't have no type of he's just stupid. I don't really know what to say. My father is not a smart man. But um at least let me rephrase that. He's not he doesn't have emotional intelligence. He's smart as far as money and I guess financial wise kinda <laughs> cause right now he has this baby mama who's draining him of everything but look that's his life she gonna honestly I'm here for her too part of me wants her to take him for everything that he got because shit if you really think about it she's doing what she's supposed to do you know she's doing what she's supposed to do so um yeah she's doing what she's supposed to do she saw a sucker and, and he got licked so i mean i can't even be mad at her she's just running game my dad's the stupid one who's letting her do it but anyway so back to the autism i could really see myself having autism y'all i'm not gonna lie like i could really see it like multiple tests multiple people telling me and just so i, I so i show so many like traits of an autistic person that you all have no idea like i don't want to be bothered leave me alone i isolate myself i love i i appreciate my i just love being alone like i love being alone i don't like being bothered with people it's a lot of reasons why i don't like like i don't like shit being moved in my room like the smallest thing like i put everything perfectly at like 90 degree angles like if you turn it even slightly i'm gonna notice i just hate when people touch little shit like i'm ocd as hell oh my god i'm very I overthink it's just so much so the point of this video was just to say like i honestly can see myself having autism and if anyone who follows me has autism and knows you know what those traits are let me know what do you think you think i'm just you know reading too much into it i don't know let me know also just another quick little side note i forgot to add in there i actually have uh other people in my family who are autistic so autism you know there's it's it, i guess it runs in my family i don't really know how it works i don't know if it's like a genetic thing but if it is i'm just saying the genetic predisposition for autism is already in my family i have an aunt who's autistic as well as her son so and that's my grandpa that's uh my grandpa's daughter not the one who just died the one, my other grandpa who died a while ago but i'm just saying you know i'm, I'm directly that's like a close genetic link or like that's not that many generations down the bloodline or whatever. So who's to say, you know, I didn't pick up the gene as well. But um, that that was what I wanted to say. There was something else I wanted to say that I can't remember. But that, I know that was the main point. But if I think about it, I'll put it in here. But yeah, like I said, I think there's a very high chance that I could have autism. Just saying. Sorry, I remember. Oh, fuck. Hey, sorry, I remember what I was going to say. Um, also, another thing I learned, because like I said, I've been doing my research on, you know, this whole autism thing. Um, a lot of people don't even find out until they're adults. Like, I don't know if it's majority, but I know, like, there's a very good portion of people who are autistic who don't even find out until they're, like, well into their 30s. So, I actually saw this story time on YouTube of this one lady who was married, had two kids and everything. She didn't find out that she had autism until, like, she was 32, 33. And she was like, oh my god, I wish I would have known you know, when I was younger, it just would have made her life so much easier. So I'm just saying it's not what I'm saying is not something that, you know, is so just impossible. Like, like, you know, it's, it's a very well a possibility is the point I'm trying to make. So one day I'd like to go know for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs>